Hello SolidWorks Power Users and welcome to another Power User Challenge. I think this is number 34. Uh, many of you might have seen already this article on the uh, SolidWorks Forum, on the Makers Forum. Uh, and the challenge here was building a dish that would hold small tomatoes. Uh, we have this nice uh, holder, but uh, it has too big of an opening. Uh, and in SolidWorks, this is pretty much how this is going to look like in the end. So the original is this part, which I'm going to make available to you. Um, I'm going to save it in SOLIDWORKS 2022 format, but also I'm going to provide you with step files for those of you who might have an older version of SOLIDWORKS. And the challenge is to build a part that is pretty much based on two millimeter wires if you want. So this is going to be a 3D printed part. Don't worry if these are um, intersecting, if these wires are intersecting. Uh, one thing that you have to make sure is that you are going around this cross members. Okay, so that's, that's very important. I'm going to provide you with a step file of the finished product. Uh, if you want to do modification, design modification to make it even more interesting, you can obviously do that as a second step of the uh, of the challenge so this part has 25 think about this uh, being a circular pattern this would have 25 members so pretty much 25 wires going in one direction 25 wires going in the opposite direction okay uh, and the goal here is to pretty much follow the shape of uh, of the initial enclosure. Uh, the end result doesn't have to be 100% uh, similar to what I have, but it's very important to be very, very close to the original shape. So very important to go around this, uh, these cross wires. Okay? Uh, otherwise, you can use any tool that you can think of inside SOLIDWORKS to, to get this done. You can use sheet metal, you can use surface modeling, you can use pipe and tube, you can use pretty much anything you want as long as it's part from, uh, of the SOLIDWORKS uh, software. If you want to use X design or X shape, uh, you can do that and uh, we'll see. We'll see uh, who's getting the, the best result. Now, for extra points, the, a, be a better chance to get the SOLIDWORKS Power User Certificate, make this a parametric product. In such a way that maybe I can have a, a global variable here that can specify the number of wires. Maybe I want to have 25, maybe I want to have 15, maybe I want to have only 10 of this going around. Okay, so um, you can you can certainly do that for for extra points. If I can make it parametric, it's even better. I'm also going to provide you with the original part as I mentioned, and uh, you can see that this one has a few dimensions that are uh, modifiable. Now imagine how much nicer your dish is going to be if I can vary these dimensions. And the most important one I'm going to say is the number of instances. So right now I have three instances for this um, wires. If I can make them five or ten uh, or whatever number, it would be nice if the dish itself would adjust automatically. So think about that as various level of the challenge. First of all, the first level that will be absolutely a need if you want to get your certificate, just build the dish, parametric using SOLIDWORKS. Number two, the ability to change the number of wires. Number three, the ability to actually change the number of cross members in the circular path. And for the ultimate goal, what happens if I go and change even the dimensions of this? So changing, let's say, maybe the, the various radii, and so this becomes smaller or bigger, would the dish uh, adjust as, as needed? So we can see um, it's a pretty free uh, challenge. You can use your imagination, you can use your design, and like always, uh, the best, more, most original solutions are most likely going to be the ones who are going to win um, the competition. Good luck, and uh, remember one thing, judging is subjective. So uh, I'm gonna try my best to uh, 
uh, to come with the good reasons why somebody is going to win or somebody will not. Uh, but I'm, I'm human, so uh, I'm more than happy to have a conversation on the forum about uh, this criteria. And uh, most importantly, I would like to see uh, the brainstorming going on. So various uh, challengers collaborating, actually, to get this done. Good luck. Thank you.